Hey Fancy Beauties and Bows, welcome back to the channel. So today, I figured I'd do this off the wall random video for you guys because I know there's some single fancy beauties out there. You may not have a guy around and you want to amp up your sound on your television. So I have been eyeballing this Vizio soundbar for months on end. So I finally went ahead and got it when it dropped down to $199. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to hook that up. So of course I went ahead and cleaned off my entertainment center before we get started on putting this soundbar together. So as you can see, I'm going ahead and unboxing it. I tested this out in Walmart, which is where I purchased it from. And I listened to this one. I also listened to the Black Web. And both those systems actually sound really, really nice. One thing I did learn is that if you pair it up with brand to brand, meaning if you have a Samsung television, you want to get a Samsung soundbar. In my case, I did not do that because I didn't find this information out until after I purchased this soundbar. But it works very well and I'm not having any issues with it whatsoever. So here I'm just showing you guys what it looks like. That piece right there that I'm showing you is the actual soundbar. And it also comes with one woofer, subwoofer and two little speakers as well. So I'm just going to go step by step through what you have to do to hook it up. It really is not that difficult. The, the most difficult part of the whole thing was actually pairing the Bluetooth to the remote and to your phone. So that was the most difficult part for me. And that really wasn't that difficult. I just got impatient and I wanted to tarry up and move along. <laughs> so, it does come with a warranty, which is what that was that I was holding up. And that is the subwoofer. You get one of those. And then those are the two little speakers that come with it as well. And even though they're small, they really do uh, put out enough sound for you to have that theater experience. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through this box and make sure I have all the parts that I need to successfully complete the installation. And you always want to do this no matter what it is that you're putting together. Nothing is worse than getting ready to put your things together and something is missing and you don't find out until the end. And I'm just showing you, it's two of those cords. One is the longer one and one is the shorter one. And it's going to give you specific instructions on which one you're supposed to use. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pull the manual out and figure out what it is that I'm supposed to do first. So the first thing it's going to tell me to do once we get to it is to go ahead and choose one cable and connect that to your TV. So the one that I chose was the digital optical cable and it is labeled. So everything is labeled for you and you won't have to wonder which cord am I supposed to use or which piece goes into what end. And I'll show you more about that once we get down the line. 
So you're just going to look at the back of the sound bar and you're going to put that, if you use the digital optical cable, you're going to plug that in on the right side of your sound bar. If it's facing you, it's going to be your right side in the bottom plug. All right, so the cord is blue and I'm going to plug that into the blue plug in and then the gray one goes into the gray all right so now you have the cord in you're going to go ahead and plug in your sound bar and then you're going to take and connect the satellite speakers to the subwoofer using the cables for that so it's going to plug into the front of that speaker of the subwoofer and it's color coded so you'll know exactly which one to plug into it so you have a plug in that side and then you're going to have a plug for the other side and those are your two smaller speakers that's being plugged into your subwoofer that's the only thing that i wish the plugs were in the back I don't like plugs hanging out from the front. You have one more cord to deal with, and this is the power cable, and that's going to plug into the subwoofer, and then that will plug into the wall. So now we're moving on to the remote, and you're going to go ahead and put in the batteries, which are included. And then you're good to go with that. There is a number on the remote if you get stuck, even after looking at this video. But I think you should be okay if you do this step by step. All right, so now we're pretty much ready to go into um, getting it paired with your phone and the sound bar. My lights went out when I was doing this part, so all you have to do is just wait for the Bluetooth screen to or message to come across the remote control. You're going to have um, the lights, the LED lights on that sound bar, and they're going to be running up and down. Then when it goes solid, you'll know that you're you're good to go as far as it being ready to operate and for the sound to come out. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right there. You'll see and you need to go ahead and pair it on your phone with that sound bar. Once that's complete, you're done. So I hope this video was helpful. So if you have any questions, just leave those down in the description bar below and I'll be sure to get back to you with answers and we will get you connected with your sound bar and give you that theater feel in your home. And as always, you guys already know, stay fancy, stay prayed up, stay focused on God. Don't forget, click that subscription button. Make sure you like this video, share and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, Fancy Beauties and Bows. Enjoy your sound bar. Dear, nice lady. Go tip her at the holidays. What about boyfriends, visitors? None that I ever saw. But Miss Grace didn't look like she had guys knocking down her door. How much longer is this gonna take? You got a train to catch? Some prospective tenants are coming to see the place. How about a little respect? The lady's been dead less than a day. She said she was moving out. See for yourself? You have any idea where she was moving? All I know is the owner's call and said to start showing the place. Gucci? No. It's pretty pricey stuff for a lab tech. Living above her means, you ladies are all alike. You have a copy of her lease? I don't think she had one. She knew the owners. Okay, we're gonna need to talk to them. I'll get you the number. Name's Regolia, Mr. and Mrs. You seen either of them around here recently? Mr. Regalian? Uh, once a week. Said he was measuring for renovations. <laughs> Mrs. Regalian knows. It's terrible what happened to Paula. How well did you know her? 
She came for Thanksgiving and Christmas the past two years. One of those introverted science types. 